uh, to thrive off of. It's like an energy, like a food to them, like a food source to them. It's dead orgone energy. Uh, that's why you'll always see so much wicked around graveyards, grave sites, war zones. Uh, you know, death and destruction is their thing because they feed off of it. It's like an energy. It's like a food to them. And so what we're doing is saying, go get it somewhere else. You're out of here. And we're, <laughs> we're kicking them out, kicking out this dead and we're going energy supply out of here, pumping it back up with the, the healing energy. So it's more of a Lord's presence here on earth that they can't conquer. And it's really kind of hard to put it in terms that, that people can understand without it sounding like some kind of new age thing. But, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, the Bible's new, you know, I'm talking about the new age, the earth moans at the coming of Satan. How does the earth moan? And the earth itself is just a rock because it's a living being. It's not just a dead rock. God is not the father of the dead, the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Uh, and this entire earth is centered on the fact that earth is a healing and, uh, cre and uh, creative life force energy. And so without that, uh, Satan and his dominions are just going to dominate more and more and more on this earth and be able to roam on this earth and do what they will on this earth even manifest on this earth and uh, we're trying to make it as miserable for him as possible <laughs> the Bible says that the Satan's going to dominate for three and a half years well anybody stop to think why it's only three and a half years maybe it's because of all the work the Lord's warriors did before he got here that he was limited to that amount of time that he couldn't even uh, survive here on earth any longer than that uh, you know that's why there's almost no life left on earth when the Lord returns because he has to accommodate, overcompensate for the fact that he can't squeeze all the life energy out of the earth and so he creates wars, sickness, and death. Uh, and so it's, it's, helping, it's helping things move along. You know, it's almost telling them uh, poop or get off the pot now, you know. Uh, the warriors are, are ready and you know what folks perfect love casts out fear and so if you're in fear of anything coming in these last days uh, you just need to love the most high even more uh, because perfect love casts out fear uh, a lot of you are afraid of your kids or what will happen to your children and things like that uh, just give it to the Lord because uh, you know perfect love is also having faith in someone and believing in someone if he says he'll take care of someone or something he's going to uh, and so don't doubt him. Don't call him a liar. Uh, and you just put everything in his hands and you just move on. Uh, hey, Sherry, I just read a book, Atlantis Rising, by Robert Sullivan. There is some hay there, but you must spit out much grass. Have you read? I think it's the other way around. <laughs> some grass, but you spit out the hay. Have you read it, and how do they relate to the other fallen angel races and the overall plan? Uh, I haven't read it. Uh... I haven't read anything on Atlantis. Most of the stuff, I, the knowledge I have on Atlantis is, is things I've seen in the Bible codes uh, and uh, just some things that uh, I've picked up here and there. These verses have been on my mind, and I would like your thoughts on this. I think this has something to do with Eve, Mary, but I'm not quite sure. And you guys can follow along. This is Zechariah 5, uh, 5 through 9. And the angel who was speaking with me went out and said to me, Now lift up your eyes and see what this is that goes forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is the ephah that goes forth. And he said, This is their form in all the earth. And behold, a lead cover was lifted up, and a woman was sitting in the middle of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he threw her into the midst of the ephah, and he drew the lead stone over its opening. And I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, two women came out. And the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork. And they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heavens. And I said to the angel who was speaking with me, Where are they going with the ephah? And he said to me, To build a house for it in the land of Shinar, and it should be made ready and placed there on its own place. Probably Lilith and Eve. <laughs> because Lilith and Eve have appeared together before in the Old Testament, because I remember weeks ago, um, the Lord kept asking me, Who was the woman with Lilith? <laughs> because I knew it was Lilith that had approached one of the Old Testament kings. And, but, but there was two women there, and they were, they were disguised as prostitutes. And I couldn't, I couldn't think for a million years, who was the other woman with Lilith? And that's when he started opening up my eyes to this whole Eve thing. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, probably Lilith and Eve. Uh, because we know that there, there are two female beasts, and but only one beast will return. 
uh, possibly with Satan when he rules the world as this Mary. This whole Mary and Madonna child thing has been nothing but Eve and, and uh, Cain uh, that I've revealed on this show. Uh, question from a reader. What's the safest place to live in the country and what do you think the next attack will be? I think the next attack, well, we're having them now. I, I, I said weeks ago to watch for the fires coming. There would be a lot of fires. Uh, and we're going to get a lot of fires. Uh, because they need to pump up the DOE. I also think another thing, in order for them to dominate uh, the airstreams, because we've kind of taken that out of their control as well, uh, they need uranium in the air. And so the only way they're going to get more uranium in the air is by nu uh, letting off nuclear bombs. So I think the biggest 9-11 attack here in this country is going to be nuclear bombs. I think we're going to see some bombing here. Uh, not to be like Miss Cheery here tonight or anything. <laughs> but I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to see some nuclear bombs going off here. Hello, little Sherry, have you heard anything about chemtrails possibly being used for the mi uh, mind control programs or being propagated upon the people? Uh, I would be surprised. Uh, but the chemtrails mostly, the 101 uses of chemtrails, so I can't say that they, they aren't. Uh, you know, most of them are bio attacks uh, to, to keep DOE, to control the weather, to control the vortexes, to suppress life life energy. There's like 101 uses of chemtrails. Uh, you can see my website, chemtrailagenda.com. Uh, I have like a mixture of different websites on that as well. Uh, and my own Bible code research on chemtrails uh, talks about the chemtrails and the uses and what they're doing. Uh, hi, Sherry. I was wondering if you read or have an opinion on the book Return of Planet X, Wormwood. When do you expect Planet X to be visible to the, to the eye? Um, I haven't read the book. I hardly ever read anybody else's stuff, so it's almost amazing when I do. Uh, I haven't, you know... Planet X is, is supposed to make a, a huge entrance, uh, you know, drowning our coasts and causing earthquakes and, and all this disastrous stuff when it approaches Earth. And I have that. Uh, planet, planet Rahab is returning dot com. Uh, but there's other anomalies going on, and you know, you, you talk to other people because you think maybe you're just seeing things, but. You know, has anybody else seen seen red planets in the sky at night? <laughs> Just look up and see a huge red planet, and the next day it's not there. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if they're playing with holographics or what. Uh, so that's kind of odd. Uh, and then you'll see these pictures sent in from other people around the world of the two suns, uh, one of them being this planet X. Uh, it doesn't have its own light, but it will, it will, it will give off the light of the sun supposed to be coming up from behind the sun, uh, from the east. Uh, and so I don't know. I don't know when it's coming. 2009 seems to be the catalyst year for a lot of disasters and catastrophes. And so uh, I would say no later than 2009, based on what I've seen. Uh, do something of echo background. Let me just tell what you're going to say. I don't know how to do anything about an echo. Is anybody else getting an echo? Uh, if you are, let me know. Uh, maybe try turning your sound down. Maybe I'll try turning my sound down. <laughs> let me know if, if that helps. Uh, why? Here's another email. Why are you pretty much the only one that tells it like it is on the internet? Has everyone else sold out? Uh, well, I think it's just a mixture. You know what? Um, I say what the Lord has me say. The things He teaches me, I've always told Him what He teaches me. I'll teach his people, and I don't care what people think or what people say. Uh.